Hello guys, hope you are all safe out there. This is a story of how much I suffered to get my car's driving license, the B category driving license. Uh, I suffered a lot, not due to the struggle of the actual exam, but due to the auto school instructor that I had that was a bloody perfectionist. And uh, it was terrible. Um, well, I have to begin with that I tried twice to get my car's driving license. Uh, and in between, I took my motorcycle driving license, the AM category. The AM is the 50cc and under uh, displacement. So, if you, let's try to focus here. Okay. Okay, I'm not really going to be able to focus, but uh, when I was about 18, I tried for the first time, but I wasn't really paying uh, any attention or giving any real effort on it, on uh, doing it. But, you know, I kind of went to the classes. Uh, when it came to the time to take the actual written exam, well, written, it's not really written, but it's on the computer, but the, the, the theory exam, uh, I failed with four wrong questions, and you had to uh, have only three maximum to pass. Uh, I was very upset that I actually failed, even though I wasn't trying to pass. <laughs> I just wasn't uh, really caring about it at all. But, uh, you know, I failed and was like, oh, damn gonna have to take it again, I guess. But then I just decided, okay, instead of just trying again, I just, just gonna forget about all this. I just dropped it all together. And about one year later, when I was 19, I decided to take the motorcycle driving license, the AM. Uh, a particular thing about the AM uh, exam in Portugal is that you don't have to, um, to sign up to an auto school to do it, you can do it independently. You just have to have your own motorcycle. The motorcycle have to follow the uh, the specifications that they require. It has to have a has to be a 50 cc displacement. It have to have uh, mirrors, and that's basically it, and brake, <laughs> and uh, lights, and that's basically it. So I was able to provide my own, to bring my own motorcycle. You also need to provide your own. Uh, you you have to bring a car and someone that is uh, qualified to drive the car with the car's driving license already to drive the auto school examinator around. So uh, this is how they are able to uh, provide this, um, this um, AM category driving license at a very low price. I think I only pay about 17 euros altogether for, uh, for it at the time. Uh, so I took the exam, uh, the theory exam, I passed, it was very easy. I took the, the actual driving exam, I passed, you know, very easy. Got my motorcycle driving license. I was driving around in a motorcycle for an additional year before I considered it trying again to take the car's driving license. So around that time, uh, I had to sell my motorcycle, which was a Honda NSR 50cc from 94. Uh, I had to sell it to be able to afford my, my car's driving license. Because at this time I had to sign up on an auto school. I had to pay for you know, additional classes, study material, all that stuff. So I sold the motorcycle. I signed up, everything went well, went to the theory exam, passed without any uh, wrong questions. Uh, and then when I thought that the fun part would, uh, uh, would begin, which would be the actual driving lessons, then I would, things start to go like terrible because uh, I was paired up with this uh, instructor, which is a very good instructor. He explains everything very uh, nicely you know with uh, with examples he shows you how to do it first before asking you uh, to do it yourself but uh, he was a perfectionist for example 
I remember that um, you always have to do this ritual before you start driving, uh, which is very hypocritical because you rarely do that on a, on a daily life that you have to enter the car. Well, before entering the car, you have to walk around the car, <laughs> check that, you know, the car is in one piece. Enter the car, put the key, not turn on the key, just put the key in the ignition, check your mirrors, check your, your, your back mirror, your side mirrors, uh, check that the car is, uh, put the car in neutral, start the car and then start driving. Put the seat belt on, of course, and then start driving. And uh, if I wouldn't do this ritual, then he would start yelling that, uh, oh, on the exam you're gonna fail because they're gonna mandatorily check that you do this step by step. You have to do it every single time. And uh, throughout my whole uh, driving lessons, uh, and every single lesson I had to freaking do it every time, you know, walk around the car, <laughs> enter the car, put the key in the ignition, check mirrors, put seat belt on, check lights, it was it was uh, dreadful. Then uh, actual driving. So by this you know time, I knew how to drive a car already. I just didn't have the license for it, and I've been driving around a motorcycle, so I was very familiar with the you know, driving rules and uh, traffic rules, of course. So, uh, but the way that he was so. Uh, dramatical, you know, he was such a drama queen that if there was no mistake, he will put on the e-brake, on the handbrake, and uh, stop the car and tell you, oh, you've done that wrong. Don't do it again. So, for example, if I would come to a stop sign, that I can see that it's clear, it's evident that there's no risk, no danger whatsoever, that you don't actually have to stop at the stop sign, I was just low down, slowed out to almost a full stop, but I wouldn't full stop the car. And I'll keep driving because that's what you do in real life. You, you know, come up to an intersection or something, you see the stop sign, you look, there's no lights, uh, 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 no traffic lights, only the stop sign. You see the stop sign, you slow down, you look around, no danger, no cars coming from nowhere, no pedestrians, nothing, no bicycles. You just keep on rolling. And then uh, every time I did that, he would just stop the, the emergency brake as if we were about to crash or something. And then we'll be yelling like, oh, you just failed. If this would be the exam, you just failed. Well, excuse me, maybe it's about time that we just stop with this hypocritical that you have to follow every single rule to the detail because that's not what it happens in real life. So I was just driving as I was used to drive in the real life on my motorcycle. Uh, I remember that once he was screaming because um, uh, there was, a, uh, there was a, a yellow light and uh, I slowed down for the yellow light, right? And then it turned to red. But when it turned to red, I was already, you know, inches from, uh, from the crosswalk. There was no pedestrians crossing, so I just decided, okay, I'm already above, you know, on top of the crosswalk. Just going to keep on driving instead of just, you know, stop here in the middle of the crosswalk. And then uh, he lost his shit because <laughs> he lost his mind because of it. He was like, oh, you just failed again and uh, you could have possibly killed someone if this was in a real life. And I was thinking to myself, I never replied to his outbursts because, you know, I'm just a chill guy. But I was thinking to myself, you know, what the hell are you, what the hell are you talking about that I would have failed and I, I would have killed someone in a real life situation? First of all, this is a real life situation. It's real life right now. I am real. This car is real. We're driving. And second of all, there was no one around. I was already on top of the crosswalk. On the real, real life situation, you would just keep on driving and that would be the end of it. So, uh, it took a lot of patience from my part to be able to put up with that guy. But then again, I can see that he was trying to do the, you know, the right thing and just follow the rules to the detail. I guess if every single one in the planet would follow the rules to the detail, maybe the world will be a safer place for drivers, but uh, it's, it's just, you know, it's just ludicrous. So that's, that's it. This is the story of uh, how much I suffered to get my, my driving license because of this crazy auto school instructor that I had.